it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I'm back with another haul video. Today we've got vintage fabrics. These are things that I've collected over the past four or five months, setting them aside in anticipation for putting them out at the booth or online. But they're going to go out on the booth today. And then the second part of this video is going to be items that I received from my partner's grandma. Things that she no longer needs, wants, or uses since she moved to the home. So we'll go ahead and hop to that. Okay, we're gonna start with the pillowcases first. Uh, these are pillowcases that I've just got from lots of different sources. I cannot tell you where. I don't even really know how much I paid for them. I can tell you how much they're going to sell for though. Um, so we got this really pretty yellow one. Um, it feels uh, like a cotton blend, probably polyester and cotton. And I am going to sell this for $4 in the booth. And it's just one pillowcase. Actually, all of these are just one pillowcase, except I think one set. There's, there's a match for it. And then we got these really pretty um, flowers, yellow, white, and brown flowers. That's another pillowcase. This one here um, is actually pink towards the end and then lots of flowers and bouquets of flowers. Then we have here another one with some nice yellow and looks like orange flowers. And here's the set that I have, it's two pink ones. I put $4 on these as opposed to three because pink is, um, you, I mean, I, I don't really see pink a lot and it's really kind of a pretty case with the roses and then it has this little edge on here that adds something to it. So we've got two of those. And this is really pretty too. I put $4 on it because it has this really nice lace edge and the color is really pretty and bright. So $4 for that one. This one's $3, just a standard pillowcase, I guess. And we've got this one, $3, it's more Pale, um, not much color going with it, but it's in nice shape. And we've got, oh, two more pink ones. Uh, I did $3 each on these because, I mean, I don't think they're that cute. The pink is nice, but then all this other business, I don't know if I like. Um, and the fabric quality isn't as sturdy. So two of those. And lastly, this one is kind of, I don't know. <laughs> $3, it, it, it just looks like a mess to me. This is like a bright neon, like a construction worker, and then these flowers. It just doesn't make sense to me, but that is the pillowcases. Now, we'll go ahead and do, we'll do these. Dresser scarves and doilies. This one is really pretty. Has bluebirds embroidered. They did a really good job with that. And $6. I can't really um, get much for these. I've tried in my booth and they just sit. But um, with spring happening and everything, I think I might be able to get some of these moving. So that one. And it is a pretty good size one. I don't want to open it up. That's half of it right there. Okay. And we've got this one with the butterflies. It's a little bit more basic. Um, $4 for that one. It's a good size one as well. I guess that's more or less a, a uh, runner or a scarf. Not really a doily. This one is just like printed, more or less. Now I'm not sure if that's actually the pattern that you would trace over or if this is just meant to be like this, if it's screen printed. I just put screened pink floral on it. And um, I mean, I guess as long as you don't wash it, it'll be there. Okay, oh, I put $5 on that one. This one's kind of the same thing. I mean, this, this looks screen to me more than it does like a pattern. I feel like if it was a pattern, it would be a very thin line and not this, not this interesting looking. $6 on this one. It's really pretty. I love the edge, lace edge on here. And it 
it's a pretty good size. Six dollars for that one. Then we've got this one here for four dollars. Has really pretty gold and lavender flowers with a uh, yellow gold lace edge. And then this last one here, which is um, bouquets of pink. Uh, what is that color? Periwinkle and red flowers. And I put $8 on that one because it is larger and there's just more to it. Okay, now we will move on to wa yeah, washcloths, I guess would be a good idea. Okay, we've got these vintage washcloths. So I put $4 on all of the washcloths. Maybe I should set down. Oh, that feels nice. All right, so we've got a pink one. This really cool striped one, this orange one. This one has roses on it for $4. This is just a pink one with some texture. And then a blue one. I've got more, just a minute. Oh. Okay, we got a green one. Another kind of a green one. Another rose one that matches the other one, doesn't it? Yes, it do. Well, kind of. I'll put them together. Oh, yeah, there we go. A yellow one. We've got a pinkish one. This is a really retro looking one from the 70s. Boo, look at you. This one. Another green one, another green one, and another green one. $4 on each of those. Let me stick those to the back of the line. Okay, now we've got, oh boy. Um, what are these called? Kitchen towels or hand towels. So we've got one with roses on it. This one has like vegetables, fresh vegetables and stuff. Oh, each of these hand towels I'm selling for $8. So just double the price of a washcloth. This one has blue flowers on it. That's really pretty. A pink one, a gold one, another kind of a gold one, an orange one, a pink one, another pink one. Every time I see this, I think Purina. <laughs> um, another gold one and another kind of a gold one with flowers okay one more stack of these to go I'm gonna put all of these like in actually if you watched um, my video where I showed you the um, that dresser that I redid and I painted it it's not a dresser it's the shelf uh, it's beige and green pretty much I'm gonna put all these on that um, it might take up a shelf or two, but I think that would look really cute with all of these staged together. And I actually have some more vintage fabric items like this in my booth that I'll just um, rearrange over there. So they're all together. Okay. Whoops. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. Well. Oh. Okay. Here we've got a pig towel. I put $6 on it because it, I think, has a little bit of a stain on it, and it's, I don't know. This one's a chicken. Where's the head? There we go. There you are. Okay, and then these are like little, I think they're called pom-poms, and they're sewn on to just a, can, a regular gold cannon bath or a t uh, towel. Two of those. And I put um, $9 for the pair. I bought these for, I think, 50 cents for the pair at a yard sale last season. Thinking that I'd put them online, but I just, I'm not that excited to put these little tiny towels online, especially the washcloths. Okay, now we've got these here. This is just like flowers and butterflies. This one has, what is that? Um, a strawberry flower 
I don't know what that is. Um, so there's that one. And there's this green one. How fun. And then this blue one. I like the blue ones with the blue flowers. I'm just partial to those. That is my fabrics. Okay, so this little guy here, I actually got at Goodwill for $6, and it is an Aladdin snow globe and music box. Um, did I mention $6? Yeah, I paid $6. I knew right away that it was broken because his arm is missing. So normally he would have a hand, and then he would actually be holding a flag that would go this way, beyond that way, and it would say something. I forgot what it said. But there was a flag, so that's gone. And then upon closer inspection after I got it home, I realized that Aladdin's arm is broke right here. Um, now that would essentially just be his elbow, the, the little angle there of the, of the arm. So that's gone. And then lastly, yeah, there's more. Um, there should be a monkey over here sitting right there. And that's broke. The sad thing about all of this is that if this thing was in pristine shape, it would be very reasonable to ask about $300 for it on eBay. With a box, um, upwards of 400. This is a 1992 Aladdin music box. And um, I don't know much else about it other than it's very heavy. And it does have an on and off switch as well. And that is for the eyes, they light up. And I have not tried that either. So what I think I'm going to have to do with this, I'm gonna clean it up, but I think I'm going to list it on eBay for around $50, maybe. Um, if I don't do that, maybe I'll do an auction, but I'm afraid of auctions. I just sold something. Um, one of those Halloween costumes I put for auction and it ended up selling for, I think, like. $11 and it was the Chewbacca one. So um, I thought that one was going to go for at least 20 or 30. But that's the power of eBay. You just never know what you're going to get when you don't set um, high enough minimums. Um, so yeah, that was just a quick pickup at Goodwill and that was really the only thing there that they had. Um, I sort of bought it almost for sentimental purposes anyway because I do uh, really like this movie and um, I like the fact that it plays the music and it has the snow globe. Uh, it's just really a shame that it's broke so many places. Um, I had ideas of actually using the um, some pliers and finish breaking this breaking this up, this monkey here, um, and then painting it this gold and then throwing some gold glitter over it and then it would just look like another little piece of junk. Uh, that would solve that problem. Um, I thought that if I if I could ever figure out how to make a glove, I could just put a glove on top of his hand and that would disguise that. And as far as this, I would just say put a little beige paint there or tan, whatever color that is. And that would hide that a little bit more. But, but honestly, I don't think I would do any of those things because I haven't the patience or, mm, yeah, or the desire, I guess, to do it all. But um, that'll probably just go on eBay and we'll see what happens. I put this fan on my Instagram. Not so much for the fan, but the fan is beautiful. And I'll go a little closer here even. Um, two sides. I put this on my Instagram because I thought the box was just so funny. It says, whoopsie, look at that. That's how they go. It's collapsible like that. Um, the box says folding fan on this side and you turn it over <laughs> and look at that. Keep cool and be gay. That's funny. I mean, obviously it has a different meaning, but just the, 
the structuring of the words. It reminds me so much of the keep calm and or whatever, you know, those keep calm things, but keep cool. So uh, the box is really cool. I don't know how old this is. I really haven't done any research on it, but um, it's just kind of funny. I'm probably going to hang on to that, honestly. Um, and then I also found this other fan. I can't do this as as nicely as those geisha girls or whatever, but I'm opening it. <laughs> um, it's a nice fan. I don't know if this is silk. It might be. And it's on a bamboo base. So there's that fan. Um, again, I don't know if this fan's really worth anything much, but I'll look it online. In fact, I did not research any of these things online quite yet. I did a little bit of searching just to see what was going on, but uh, for the most part, I don't really know for sure. I picked up this little guy here. Now remember, these are all items from Aaron's um, grandma. So I didn't, I didn't pay anything for these, but I just figured that they were worth looking up and seeing if they were um, of any value to sell. This doesn't have any maker's marks on it or any wording or anything. Um, and I cannot see my fingers through it, so I don't believe it's bone china. I learned that trick from, um, oh crap on a cracker, I can't remember her name. Oh boy, reselling, um, 101 glass, Michelle. <laughs> yes, Michelle thrifting 101 by, uh, whatever. I'll link her. She gave a tip on how to tell the difference between bone china and ceramic or whatever. And the, the trick is if you hold it up to the light and you don't see your hand, then it's not bone china. But if you can see your fingers through it or your hand through it, then it's bone china. And an example of that is actually this little piece right here. See my finger right in the middle? The glare. And actually it's even easier to tell on one of these very thin pieces. Look at that. Um, these are beautiful. And they're not marked on the cups themselves, but the saucers. There's a maker TT, I think it is, T, double T. Um, hand painted, made in Japan. There are only three saucers and four cups. Again, not sure on the value of that. I did a quick search and was a little confused by value. I see people just selling this for about $20, but I'm not sure if they're actually, actually able to sell them for that. So that's nice and then these are really pretty I love the the scenes on here this is like a little lily pond and this is made by PK Sile that's PK S I L E S I A Silesia Sile whatever they're pretty and there are four four of those and then this uh, platter actually is in um, not the best shape with a giant crack or something right in the middle there. So I'll have to check these out. I don't think I'll actually be selling the platter unless the platter is very valuable because it's just kind of a large thing to ship and it already has some damage on it. Um, I think this to be crystal. It looks like crystal. Um, but then again, I don't have any experience with crystal or buying crystal. It's just that the color has this kind of rainbow look to it whenever it hits the light. And um, I don't see any mold marks or the pressed line marks on it from where it, if it was pressed glass, you would see, um, especially probably right in here on this edge, you'd see lines, but I do not see any. So I think this is a crystal, basket, but I have not done any research on it. It's just really pretty. Okay, here we have this really nice left-in um, picture frame. There's the stamp, and it's just a really cute little frame. Um, I, and I, I, you know, I'm not even going to guess. I don't know how much these go for, but I would imagine 15 to 20 at least, so there's that. Here's a little brass um, 
rocking horse. I think it's a horse. Is that a horse? That's a wide head. I guess that's a horse. Uh, brass little horse. Um, and I have not researched that yet. This is a cute, pretty little Inesco. I think it's Inesco. Inesco ring box. And it's in a bisque. Uh, what's the word? Not texture. The, it's bisque. Really pretty. Then here we have... Um, what is that? I think it's Jesus, but it says it on here, I think. No, but I, it's pretty much inferred. Um, come let us adore him. And this is a, oh, what's those little people called? I forget. I see them everywhere. Oh, there are those little things that people collect. <laughs> um, crap. I don't remember their name. They're so prevalent, but we've got this little guy here. I looked this guy up here online and um, I see him selling for like, I want to say $50, but again, that was a quick search. And then we have a camel right here. And then these little wise people, I think they're wise people. A shepherd. I see. This is confusing me. They all look like little, 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 little people, like little um, children. And then these are cute little bunnies. Um. Darn it! I wish I know. I know. I know the name of these things. I just can't remember them. Oh, we're gonna have to move along. Okay, so we got this really cool frame. This will probably go in the booth. It's wood and it has flowers on it. I like it because it has all these areas to put photos. I also grabbed this other frame. It's, uh, you know, it's not like very old or anything. It's kind of that thinner, thinner gauge metal, but it's pretty. And then there was this nice mirrored tray that I grabbed. And then there's this nice wood box that will probably I don't know it, it might go online or it might go in the booth it just depends really oh for the life of me I cannot remember why can I remember those precious moments oh my gosh finally <sighs> I hate that you know my brain just doesn't work sometimes at all but precious moments and um, I think the reason why I can't remember them because they don't say precious moments anywhere on here. It just says Jonathan David or something. So, yes, those are some pretty cool things. Things that I would probably not buy if it wasn't for, they were just there for me to grab. Um, I see these go at auctions for... Um, upwards of ten dollars depending on actually no even more it just depends there's a big collect a big following of these precious moments things um, out there but I've never really participated in trying to sell them uh, but anyway thanks for watching let me know in the comments below what you thought and like comment and subscribe bye bye